アートルもありつつ。Good evening, everyone. Since we have an extremely mixed up world today, I've chosen a Christmas play by Gwen Watkins called A Very Mixed Up Christmas Pageant. Please feel free to sing along with our songs as we need all the help we can get. Now, please warmly welcome Easton Rice as Reverend, Jennifer Kiesling as Leslie, Addie Iz Izzari Arizari. Arizari. As the narrator, Katie Samples as Gabriel, Delaney Heiner as Mary, Axel Lane as Joseph, Eli Heiner as King Herod, Colt Lane and Shaylee Heiner as the Magi, Aspen Rice as the Star, McKenna Marsh as the Dinosaur, Katie Samples and Kaylin Dean as Angels. Axel Lane, Maverick Lane, and Olivia Beale as shepherds, Colt Lane as an interjecting kid, Brooke and Gracie as animals. We would like to, war to welcome you to our first Christmas play under Keesling Mill Community Church. John 8, 12 says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me, shall not walk in darkness, but have the life, the light of life. You can join us for Sunday school and worship service every Sunday from 10 to noonish, and for an in-depth Bible study on every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. All are welcome to attend. Dad, will you open us up in prayer? Father in heaven, we thank you for all the blessings of this life that you have bestowed upon us. Thinking today about the family blessings that you have poured out upon our family, dear Heavenly Father, and other families about the community here at the church, dear Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise and honor, Lord. We have much to be thankful about for this little church, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for our pastor and his family, for all the blessings of this life that you have bestowed upon us. Lord, we ask that you be with us now in this play, play that we're going to put on here, dear Heavenly Father. We ask your blessings on the congregation and those ones that are participating in the play. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. amen. And now we'll have a reading called The Lamb of God, read by Debbie Dean. The Lamb of God, in the stillness of a winter night, the earth received God's holy light. An infant born to a young virgin girl, one tiny baby who would change the world. Birthed in a lowly barnyard stable, the king of kings who would enable. Born amid the cattle and sheep, the Lamb of God lay fast asleep. Wise men and kings traveled from afar, led to this baby by the beautiful star. Shepherds were alerted by angels on high. The Savior is come, time to draw nigh. Angels fill the skies in glorious songs, singing praises to him all night long. Peace on earth and mercy mild came down to us in the form of a child. What a miracle for the world to see, yet many don't believe he is our Savior to be. Many think the infant born in the stable is someone's version of a long ago fable. Even those who walk with him on earth doubted this man of the virgin birth. His wondrous miracles, compassion, and endless love were not proof enough for them that he came from above. This precious Christmas story is your saving grace, God's gift of love to take sin's place. He sent to this world his only begotten Son, this tiny Lamb of God, the Father's will be done. And now we'll have a reading called The Light of Christmas by Gene Snyder. We bring in the Christmas season with beautiful Christmas lights. They shine forth across our city throughout the season's nights. Many look forward to celebrating this wonderful time of the year by decorating their homes with lights to spread some Christmas cheer. We string lights on Christmas trees, on wreaths hanging here and there, 
Lights adorn many, many decorations to see pretty lights everywhere. Jesus is the real light of Christmas. He is the light of the world today. He died on the cross for our sins. He is the truth, the light, and the way. And now the choir will come and sing. <clears throat>
and now we'll have another reading if you look for me at christmas read by brenda harris if you look for me at christmas you won't need a special star i'm no longer just in bethlehem i'm right here where you are you may not be aware of me amid the celebration you'll have to look beyond the store of all the decorations but if you take a moment from your list of things to do and you can see your heart you'll find i'm waiting here for you you're the one I want to be with. You're the reason that I pay. And you'll find me in the still and I'm going to whisper your name. Love Jesus. And the last reading is called Leave Christ in Christmas, read by Debbie Rice. Christmas without Christ? Tell me, how can it be? So many people change it to suit themselves, you see. Can't we say Merry Christmas instead of Happy Holidays? We take Christ out of Christmas in so many different ways. It is nice to exchange gifts this special time of the year, but what do we give to Christ, our Redeemer and Savior so dear? Christ is really what makes it a genuine Christmas season. If we take him out of Christmas, we celebrate for the wrong reason. I want Christ in my Christmas, for inside my heart Jesus lives. Jesus can be your Savior too, for free salvation he gives. And now we'll have a song by Sarah Samples and Katie Davis.
Now the youth will present to you a small play called A Very Mixed Up Christmas Pageant. Please help us by singing along with the songs on the little pamphlet that you got as you come in the church. Thank you so much for taking over the Christmas pageant at the last minute. I know Kelly's heartbroken that she has to miss the dress rehearsal. Well, hanging Christmas lights is dangerous, isn't it? But how do you have to be here? There's just one little problem. What's that? Apparently, Kelly had the only key to the, the costume closet, so we don't have any costumes for the dress rehearsal. No costumes? We just have to work with what we have. And what do we have? Mostly wings and halos. I see we have a sheet. Yeah. Don't worry, we're collecting bathrooms and things for tomorrow. In the meantime, I asked all the kids who aren't here to just wear their Halloween costumes. You did what? Come on in, kids. Okay, so I guess we'll just run through the Christmas pageant, and if we need to make changes, we'll do it. Places, everybody. desert town of Nazareth in, in the country of Judea lived a young woman named Mary. On one day an angel appeared to Mary. The angel said I can't do this. That is not what Mary looks like. Well in fairness the Bible doesn't tell us what Mary looks like. But the Bible does tell us who Mary is. Right? God, did, God took Mary to give birth to his only son Jesus. Something everyone thought was impossible. Something that saved the world. So in a way, Mary was like a superhuman. Yeah, cool. Keep going. The angel said to Mary, Greetings, highly favored one. The, the Lord is with you. You shall have a child and shall name him Jesus. He will be greater, great and rise over God's people forever. And his kingdom will have no end. The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. And your baby will be the Son of God. Now Mary was engaged to a man named, named Joseph. All right, where's our Joseph? He has a sin. Okay, then we need a Joseph. And I do not He doesn't look 
much of Joseph? Well, Joseph is someone who comes along when Mary really needs him, even though it's risky. So are you dressed as someone we can count on to help no matter what? Great. You're in. Continue. Joseph didn't know what to think when Mary told him about the baby, but then an angel appeared to Joseph and said, Do not be afraid to marry Mary, because God has chosen her, and his baby will be the Messiah. Meanwhile, in a very different part of Judea, King Herod received an unexpected visit. Anybody have a costume like that? All right, that works. Continue. Three magi had came from the east following the star in the sky. Do the magi also have the flu? No, stop practice. Okay, well, the magi were probably kings, but also scholars, priests, and very wise. They studied the stars like scientists. And the Bible doesn't say there were three of them, just that they gave three gifts. So who's dressed as somebody wise, who maybe studies a lot, or is perhaps from a royal family? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Harry Potter and Dr. Doolittle. You are the wise men and women. The Magi knew the prophecy, a child born in Judea would become the new king of the Jews. Herod also knew the prophecy and was very upset. Herod wanted to be the only king. The Magi continued on their journey. In 40 feet, turn left, turn left, turn left. When Mary was almost ready to have her baby, she and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem. Mary rode on a donkey. How about the road on a dinosaur? A dinosaur? Sure! <laughs> they when they arrived, there were no rooms in the inn, so Mary had to, Mary and Joseph had to stay in the stable. All right, anyone dressed as an animal, get up here.
Meanwhile, in the nearby hills, there was shepherds keeping watch over their flock by night. All right, raise your hand if you are not an angel. You are now a shepherd. Go watch your flock by night. <laughs> Suddenly, an angel. Wait. Suddenly an angel appeared to them saying, Do not be afraid, I bring good news. Today in Bethlehem a Savior has been born. He is the Messiah. Go and look for the baby in the manger. Then a whole host of angels and appeared, singing and praising God. Go town and found baby Jesus in the Magi, just like the angel said. Let's worship him. The stars settled over Bethlehem, and a little while later, the Magi arrived from the east. And everyone knew that the child was truly the Son of God. Wait, stop. Put your Halloween costumes away. I have robes for everyone. I don't want to wear a bathrobe. I want to be married with a superhero. But a robe is more authentic. I mean, <coughs> is it? It's really hard to imagine the first Christmas. No one knew the story yet. Angels appeared to shepherds, kings bowed to peasants, and there was a baby in a feeding trough. Everything must have been strange and really mixed up. Maybe as strange as Harry Potter, Dr. Doolittle, and a dinosaur performing a Christmas pageant. Well, Jesus said the good news is meant for everyone, and God brought all those people together on that first Christmas for a reason, just like God brought you here today. I really didn't have any other plans. Forget the robes. The joy of Christmas is for all people, no matter who we are, no matter what we look like. God gave us this mixed up world, and we rejoice in it. You can keep guessing. The shepherds went and spread the good news across the land. The Magi were warned in a dr dream not to trust Herod, so they went back a different way. Rerouting, rerouting. As we all know, the angel's prophecy came true. Jesus did come as a baby, to save us all. He was fully human, fully God, and every Christmas we celebrate his first day on earth when everything changed forever. Oh. Uh -huh. 
our program and I would like to thank you guys for coming and hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank all the people who have helped make this play possible. Thanks to all the parents who've brought your children for practice, Kathy and mom for working on the flyers, mom and Eileen for doing decorations. Thank you, Bill, for working on the mics. Josh and Eric for moving furniture. Gary and Debbie for getting candy and oranges. And my family for always supporting me. Our pastor, Eric Rice, had to work this evening, so I'm going to ask our worship leader, Josh Dean, to say something and dismiss us in prayer. We'd like to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, if you don't have a place to go on Sundays, we'd like to have you. Uh, remember to keep Christ first in Christmas. And there's candy bars and oranges on the way out. And if you'll bow your heads, we'll be dismissed. We'd like to thank you, Lord, for everyone who came out today. <clears throat> we thank you for all involved in the play, everyone who put it together. We ask, Lord, that you be with us and watch over us, lead us and guide us as we go our own way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. We wish you a Merry Christmas.